everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Veronica. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a really easy crocheted flower. So to start off, you're just going to want some thin yarn and a small crochet hook. Now the first thing we're going to do is just make a slip knot. Then you're gonna slide that onto your crochet hook and we're gonna need to chain five. Now you wanna keep your chain fairly loose because with that we're going to be making a ring that we are going to work all of our crochet stitches into. So once you've chained five stitches, we're now going to connect this with a slip stitch. So we're just going to find the first stitch on the end of the chain and we're going to push our crochet hook through there and that's going to go through both loops on your crochet hook. Now you can see we have a nice big ring and what we're going to do is we're actually going to put all of our stitches through the center of this ring. We aren't going to work like you normally would where you're going through the stitches on the chain. To start off, you're just gonna wanna chain one and this is going to count as our first stitch. And then we are going to triple crochet into the center. So you're gonna wrap your working yarn around your hook twice and then put your hook through the center, pull through some of the working yarn. Now you'll have four loops on your crochet hook. So you're going to pull your working yarn over, pull through two, working yarn over, pull through two, working yarn over, pull through the last two. Now we're going to need to make four of these triple crochet stitches for each petal. So I'm gonna make another one and I'll show you how again. So you're going to go around your crochet hook twice, put it through the center loop, pull your working yarn through, now you'll have four loops on your crochet hook. Then yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then yarn over and pull through your last two. So now I'm just going to make two more triple crochet stitches. Once you have four triple crochet stitches, now we're going to do a single stitch. So to do that, we're just gonna stick our crochet hook through the center loop, pull through the working yarn. Now we'll have two loops on our crochet hook. We're gonna yarn over and pull through both of those. Now we're just gonna tighten it up, and then there you have your petal. The reason we do this single crochet stitch is because it pulls down the end to form a circle petal. And now you can start on to your next petal. So we're just going to do four more triple crochet stitches. And you might have noticed while I've been doing this, I keep sliding the stitches to one end just to make sure I have enough space on the ring. So you're gonna wanna keep kind of smooshing them together until you're done. That way you'll have enough space for all your petals because it is going to be kind of crammed. 
So the pattern is a single crochet, four triple crochets, single crochet, four triple crochets, and it just keeps going until you have five petals. So we're just about to the last one. You'll notice once you get to the last petal, it's pretty crammed on the ring. The best thing to do is just to keep scrunching up those petals together if you can by sliding them down the ring. So once you have your last four triple crochets for your last petal, instead of doing a single crochet stitch, we're just going to do a slip stitch to end all of this. So you're gonna wanna try and find your first chain that you did to make your first stitch on here. It might be a little hard to find, but if you kinda pull apart your first petal, you can see the first stitch. Now we're just gonna wanna go through the first loop on that stitch. So we're gonna stick our crochet hook through, and then we're gonna pull through our working yarn We're gonna wanna try and tug on the working yarn as much as we can to tighten that up and cinch it down so that you have a nice little dip where the petal should be. Then we're gonna cut our working yarn and we're just going to want to pull that yarn through the last loop on our crochet hook. Now you can tighten that up real nice. And if you want, at this point, you can leave the two tails. It might help you to connect this flower to whatever you want later on. Otherwise, I'm gonna show you guys how you can weave these tails in. Now, the best way to do this would be with a large needle, just because you have more control, I think. But I don't have one of those, so I'm just going to take my crochet hook and I'm going to weave this in. So we're gonna start with our first tail, and I just like to go through the rings that are on the loop. There's a lot there, and it's really easy to hide this in there. So once you've got it weaved in pretty good, you can just cut it with the scissors, and then we're gonna do the tail for the end. And when I do this end, I like to tug it down so that we have a nice dip in between the petals. So I'm just gonna pull on that and then I'm gonna take my crochet hook and weave it into the center. Once I have it weaved in enough, I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut that. And then that is it for your flower. These are fairly simple. I'd say they take me about 10 minutes to make. You can make them in all shapes and sizes. If you want bigger flowers, you can just use thicker yarn and bigger crochet hooks. Um, if you want something smaller, smaller yarn, smaller crochet hook. And then that is it. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for me to do more crochet videos. This was just a super quick and simple one that I could do for you guys. Um, but if you have any specific videos you'd like to see, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!